welcome back so today we're going to be adding tasks to our database let's get straight in with it uh, first of all we want to attach this to our task view model uh, and to do that we'll go into task we're going to copy all of that and come down to task view model at the very top let's paste that there do we need to change anything here no but we are missing something so we're actually missing a public ob reservable collection this is going to be of type ask checklist we'll just say ask list yeah that's it that's so we can add our our inner tasks i suppose we could call it um so we've added that we just need to copy this over to our there we go um first of all we're going to create a, a command an i command so we'll do public i command We'll call this I ask, uh, sorry, I task, no, I add new task. We just had a big, a big sneezing fit. Um, I task command, new relay command, and this is going to take add new task, which is a method that we created in the, I believe it, the last part. So if we actually come down to here, this actually passes a task through, which we don't want. We want to remove that and then we shouldn't get an error. Um, so this is where it's going to differ to what I was originally going to do. We will create a new task. So task new task equals new task. And then we'll add everything that we need here. So title equals this dot. Title description equals dot description ID equals underscore task uh, data service dot generate new ID. That's a method. Due date equals this dot due date. What else? If you press uh, control and space bar, it, it will pop up this intelligence box. Is complete equals false start date equals i think there's going to be some other things that i need to add to this as well because we need um added date and stuff like that but for now we're, we're just gonna get something in our database in our json file uh start date will be i'll just do date time dot now that's category just make one up education that's check list equals this dot that's checklist task importance equals this dot Task importance. I suppose we could do that here as well. No. So I'm going to have to add that in just because there's not going to be anything there. I don't think it allows no. So importance dot critical task state equals task state dot uh, time equals new time span. Um, before we can actually add anything to our task data, we actually first of all need to make sure that we've got this initialized so up here we we'll need to say uh, equal, equals new that uh, no we don't want to put that there actually we'll put that in our constructor wherever you are put that here anything else we need to initialize i think that's i think that's good to be honest if you remember in our task data service we actually added some code so when we ran the application in fact when we initialize the file it starts the uh, process to open the folder so if we run the application don't know if i'll get an error it opens this file for us so this is our task.json file um nothing's gonna work at the moment because we haven't actually attached it so let's go to our window uh, let's select the text box and we need to bind that so text binding we'll bind that to title and then update source trigger to changed Um, again, text ending description update source trigger changed. We can probably copy that because we'll be using it a few times. Date box, where are you? Ah, date picker, there we go. And then we'll do selected date binding you date. And I think that's all we need to do for now. There are other things on there that we'll, we'll need to add and change. But for now, I think this should be okay. Uh, if we right click down in our XAML and then choose view code, it'll take us here. 
and we can just add data context equals new task view model control period using view mo uh, using task turner dot view model so that's getting a, a reference to this I'm trying to think oh we need to attach the button command that we created to our button so if we just command binding and then just choose that we can open this in the background just to make sure run this add uh, let's just give it a try this this is a test title yes it is a test description we'll sort this out after um weird date i don't know what's happened there though like in fact let's let's fix that so when our application starts or the, the page loads up we want to in our constructor we want to do a, a due date equals um date it's never going to be in the past so we'll just do date time dot now actually let me just that's going to frustrate me so let's just Turn that off. We'll keep it there just in case we need to access it again in future, but we'll just turn it off. This is oh, this is a test title. This is a test description, and the date is when we've this, we've got a proper date now. Uh, let's just say in one week's time. Add task. Fingers crossed, and it's not. Worked. Oh, it has worked. Great. So now we've actually got our our task that's added and we've also if you can look down here task list we've got um, a section where our task lists will go i don't know what i was thinking when i was actually creating this form because there's so many things that have not actually added to the model like these aren't in the model i, I don't know how i'm going to separate this yet I'm pretty sure i'll find a way let's attempt i can't guarantee i'm going to be able to do it. in fact let's let's fill out our importance yeah let's do that first so at least now we can add to our database in fact when when we've when we've added the task we want to actually clear the values because we've already added it to the database and so what i'll do <coughs> excuse me is i'll say private void clear data uh, clear fields and this will be called down here basically um so we'll say we'll need it for title equals description equals i think that's the only thing that we're actually changing uh due date equals date time dot now task list will be task task uh checklist clear what else yeah i think that should be all right so then we'll come here and we'll do the fields remove all it fields see if that works title to which to we can't add anything yet so it doesn't really matter but add we've added that there uh never worked oh we need to actually update we actually need to run this oh yeah it, yeah reload load tasks i think that should uh task title and still not removed it he's adding it which is great but we actually on property we need to change the property we actually need to run this property changed for each of the items there probably there must be an easy way of doing it but i don't actually know so if you know feel free to help me <laughs> feels a bit weird having to add this um so many times uh, this will be name of Choose Emma to try it. Uh, 
test, test, add that, and then, yeah, and then it clears. Good. I think what we could do is just change this to and create a new method just to hold these. So private void update one, and then we can just add all of our um, things here. So we've got title description. It's just confusing me. Let's do this. So we've got. In fact, actually, I'm not going to I'm not going to mess about with that just because we're going to be changing it anyway. So I'm just going to keep what we've got. And then down here, update the form. So that clears the information and then it will update the form there. Anytime you make a change to, to any of this, you should run an update so the UI gets to see. Well, I said it was going to be a really a quick part, um, and it is. We've actually been able to add something to our database, which is, is great. Yeah, uh, please like comment subscribe to the channel uh, if you get any questions leave it in the comment section i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching